sustainable growth through partnership. If I wrote this, I would have called the theme exponential growth, pitching for exponential growth. And I'm actually going to talk about how the insurance industry can pitch for exponential growth, but not just as an industry. What makes an industry? It is the individuals represented here one by one. How will you individually, what role will you play, what difference will you make? Another thing I've heard, instead of sustainability, the newest terminology that's being used is sustain agility. And what it's talking about is how do we get farms to move at greater speed in addressing the challenges that face society. When we talk about the question of mistrust, I want to propose that the men and women seated here tonight can change that narrative. We can talk about having an insurance industry vision 2030 and focus on how by vision 2030, we can achieve exponential growth and change the complete narrative about insurance that insurance becomes a household name. When we talk about exponential growth, we actually are talking about a multiplier effect, the power of multiples. How do you multiply your achievement? The theme of this event is powerful and extremely relevant at this time because for the insurance industry to change, for the narrative to change, those of you sitting here today must recognize the need to embrace partnerships. I think the previous speakers have talked about the power of partnerships. We are talking about collaboration. In the music industry, the MC here would talk about collabors. You have to build collaboration with others so that you can build your capacity or do that which is beyond what you could achieve alone. And that's how you are able to outperform yourself. So we must be open to collaborating in order to modulate the message, smoothen the insurance message, and yet amplified to achieve exponential growth. When we talk of sustainability, we summarize it into three P's. How do you work in a manner that takes care of the profit, the people, and the planet to achieve that sustainable growth? It's sustainable because it can have longevity. You are going to be successful in the long term, not just in the short term. So we need to engage with diverse partners. We need to be open-minded and actually be willing to participate, to work with business-to-business -business partnerships, partnerships with organizations within the insurance industry and those outside the insurance industry. Let me talk about another new term. When we talk about partnership, many times, if you talk about within the industry, people are wondering, so I partner with my competition. And what do we call partnering with your competition? We talk about cooperation. When you cooperate as you compete, you build the industry. In fact, these awards are not possible without cooperation. You are willing to compete and cooperate at the same time. That's why you are here. That's why we are able to have such an important event as these awards. Let me quote the Bible here and say something. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And many times we celebrate and we go up and say, yes, people perish for lack of. But I want to disabuse you about that. We are not challenging it. It's true. You must get knowledge. But what's the second thing you must get? The Bible also says that must be added after you say about the knowledge. It says that knowledge without what is, do I have people here who read this book? Knowledge without action is dead. So we must activate our knowledge so that we can be able to obtain value. So if they say that when you just gather the knowledge or build strategies, how many of you in your organizations, you have five years strategic plans and then every year you review them. And sometimes you find you have not even acted upon the things you yourself promised to do. And basically, it's because a strategic plan like knowledge is just what we call sitting potential. It's potential. You need to wake it up, to activate it. The women of Kiambu, anytime they have an event, a celebratory, a happy event, there is a song they sing that says, turn on the switch. 
And basically what they are saying, you can be in a house, there can be electricity. But until you turn on the switch, you get no light. So some of you must know that song. It's one of the most famous songs for events in Kiambu. Turn on the switch. So we are here to say we want to turn on the switch. And that is how you activate knowledge. The second thing we want to talk about is about rethinking insurance products. How you package the products. How you address the risk management. You have to consider the perspective of the new generation. The millennials, the younger people of today, the customer of today. What do they consider to be a risk? Today I attended a wedding during the afternoon and I looked at the young couple and the young ladies who are best mates and the best men and I wondered if you were to ask them what risk do they perceive? What risks do they want insurance to take care of for them? And I thought this is a new direction that we need to really start looking at because people's priorities are changing and we are living in a more consumerist society. Actually if you ask them about their greatest risk, I think one of them is the risk of social embarrassment. How is insurance looking to take care of that? And when you talk about the risk of social embarrassment for young people, it means they are more concerned about the wedding than the marriage. How do you facilitate them so that they can not only have a wedding but also a marriage? That's a challenge for insurance. It's a risk for them. And lastly, I want to talk about the customer. I cannot live here without talking about customer experience and customer journey. And I want to talk about how we treat our customers. And one of the things we do in my business in research is called customer journey mapping. We map the journey of a customer from the point of contact to the point of service, how you engage them, how you sign the map, how you sell to them the entire process and how you deliver the service. One of the biggest complaints in the insurance industry, and maybe I should ask this to all of you because you know, what's the biggest point of pain for the customer in the insurance industry? MC, can you give somebody a microphone? What is the greatest point of pain for yeah. customers in the insurance industry? What is the greatest pain where well, here wow. Great, yeah the greatest pain point in Stop the Googling. insurance in the customer journey in insurance claims thank and you. commission for insurance company thank you for the customer it's claims because i think commissions are for someone else seated here isn't it yeah i agree now, what do we call our customers when we are talking to them when you start the discussion you call them a customer when they pay, you call them a customer. When they sign up, you call them a customer. When they are renewing, you call them a customer. What do you call them when they make a claim? I need an answer from someone. Hey. Madam Chiho H, I'm behind here. Mm -hmm. Where is, you have an answer. Yes. Let's huh? hear the answer. Claimer. Claimant. She's saying claimant. Did she write? Thank you. Thank you very much. We call them a claim man. That's the biggest problem in the customer service journey in insurance. Insurance is a promise. We tell the customer that we will deliver value for you. And then the day they need the risk management solution, we call them a claimant and we start treating them differently. The minute you call me a certain name, you treat me differently. So don't change the name. My name is customer. From the day you sign me up to the day I renew to the day I make a claim. I make a claim as a customer. I want to be treated like a customer. Even when I make a claim. Thank you very much. I want to stop there and wish you Hey, if you can kindly <laughs> I want to congratulate those who are going to win and I want to wish you the best and to say thank you very much for acknowledging, but I want to ask that we change it. Let's not just celebrate it here. Let's change that word from claimant to customer. Thank you very much. May God bless you in everything you do.